ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get dirty with the Amsoil USAC National Sprint Cars here at the Terre Haute Action Track. Great flag is out. Let's do it. Wyndham gets the whole shot. He'll lead him down in turn one. Kevin Thomas Jr. right to the inside, trying to take second from Max Adams, and he will. Coming off turn two, big lead down into turn three for Big Daddy Chris Wyndham. Brady Bacon looking to the inside in the 69 car, battling with Kevin Thomas Jr. for that second spot. Thomas slides high, Macho Man to the inside. Can't quite make it stick. KTJ will run second. Brady Bacon trying to finish him off down in turns one and two. The bottom could be the place to be here early. And here comes Tanner Thorson taking a look to the inside of Kevin Thomas Jr. and he will take fourth. So Thorson on the move there as well. It's still Wyndham Bacon one, two. Here comes Tanner Thorson looking to the inside of Justin Grant. Finding the grip down low and turns one and two. Now Grant goes down low, Thorson goes up top. Getting a little bumpy there in turns three and four. Nice little bunny hop there for Grant in the middle of three and four, running down low. Thorson was up on the bike almost for a little bit there entering turn three. Back into one they go. Thorson now gonna finish off Justin Grant, or will he? Grant with a full head of steam coming off turn two, still side by side, and Grant will retake third. So battle for third right here, as Wyndham enjoys a little over half a second on Brady Bacon, classic. Brady Bacon now trying to reel him in. He sees the lap traffic could. That helped the 69 to reel in the 19 as he gets hung up right behind Dustin Smith who runs high, Wyndham there as well. Bacon slowly reeling him in. Wyndham to the inside of the 77 to put him a lap down. We'll see if Bacon can clear him in turn three. 11 to go this time by for Chris Wyndham. Looking for his first win here in 2020, a new team. The Hayward Motorsports number 19. He'll try and put the slider on Mitchell Davis as he gets around Ruble there in the 17. That's Davis on the outside in the red 56, but here comes Bacon. Bacon now closing in on Chris Wyndham. Brandon Moore right in front of Wyndham. Gets up on the bike a little bit in turn three. Here comes Brady Bacon around the outside. Battle for the lead down the front straightaway. Wyndham goes high. Where will Bacon go? Right through the middle down in turn one. Chris Wyndham not liking the lap traffic, but that's what you have to do when you're the leader. 10 laps to go, it'll be nine this time by for Big Daddy. Wyndham now working on turn number four. McMillan right in front of him, he'll shoot to the inside. Bacon back there. The gap just over a half a second, but Wyndham slides high. Bacon looking for something, he's really been searching around, especially down there in turns one and two. Wow, CJ Larry. Already got the belts off this car, and now Brady Bacon with some problems on the racetrack. It's in and short, rounding out your top five. White flag is out. One lap to go for Chris Wyndham. Wyndham trying to pick up his second career. Tony Holman Classic win, his first when he was 20 years old in 2011. He'll work turns three and four for the final time here at the action track. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is off turn four. Winner of the 50th Tony Holman Classic is Big Daddy Chris Windham.